Remember when we talked about how we didn't have enough space at the old warehouse and we were so stoked to be moving in here because there's gonna be so much more room for the products that actually needed to be able to store? You also might be wondering, where's all the stuff that's meant to be in here? Well, that's coming. And it's actually already come. We already had a 20 footer last Monday and we're gonna get in another 40 footer tomorrow, tomorrow, early tomorrow morning. It's gonna be some grouse new stuff on this, some new products, some really exciting new products coming for everybody, coming for people who like things a little bit more minimalistic. You might have seen Darcy hinting at something like that on our podcast. Check out the podcast if you haven't already. But these are really nice, clean, simple binders that are coming in. But considering when this video is probably going to come out, I can probably show you at the end of the video what these new binders look like. So stick around if you're keen, especially if you're into more minimalist designs. Container has arrived and it is very rainy. So that's gonna be fun. Legitimately every single time we do one of these things. What a day. Must be nice to be in Vietnam right now. What a day. Yeah. 8.37 a.m., pack it in. Oh. That's enough. Gotta talk to Jack about these container deliveries on what day they come. That's what I'm saying, they're both raining. Every container I've been here for, Every time I've been here for a container, it's been raining. We get the big container for the big rain. Still <laughs> 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 like that? Yeah, I did like that. Now you gotta lift it up first, Nick. Yeah, because it's sitting on this. Oh, no, it's not. Don't worry. Never mind. As you were. Oh, no, it was right. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Nick has not big container in his life. Uh, Oh, Jesus. Not today, please. Right. <laughs> Approximately 10 hours later. The very last pallet of a very, very long day. The main issue was, was the fact that the rain came and that's the reason why we took so long. Also, these weren't quite labelled correctly. The, there's a fundamental flaw with our brand new range, which you'll see by the time this video is over. Yeah, absolutely. If you are one of the many wholesalers. Oh my god, bro. Oh. I'll start that again. <laughs> <laughs> if you're one of our many wholesalers and you're watching this video, I'm very, very sorry about these terrible master cartons. They will get better. Uh, they were supposed to be better for this one, but for whatever reason, they're not. Yeah. Um, so we've emphasized with the stickers for this one, and that's what took that took forever. That the ra and the rain, the fact that we had to stop. Rain delayed us for yeah. a few hours this morning, and then we had to sticker every box on both sides as it yeah. came off the container. And yeah, so we got here at seven o'clock. It is now late, three past eight, and uh, yeah. the last thing you can do, you can't leave stuff. In a container in a car park, that's the problem. That's dangerous, yeah. So you just need to get it out. It's all done now. You can go cry. Yeah. River time for Jack to be away. I know. Fantastic. Very convenient. Very time convenient. For yeah. For him to uh, head off. Overseas. I heard it's a nice this time by the Mekong. Yeah. <laughs> so of Jack enjoying this holiday here. Yeah. All right. Bye. Good night. Snap! This one is going into my cringe compilation. Getting photos of a nice new product, which probably by the time this hits your screen will be not so secret. We're doing stealth finders. The only branding you'll see is yeah. that. Nice smooth leather, nothing in your face yeah. on the front, like we usually have with our like series binders. For those who want a more minimal look. Yeah, because not everyone's about the shiny foil logos and the, the big deboss branding. On the front. Yeah. It sets us apart, but not everybody wants that. So mm. here's something for everyone else. The collector series love the bells and whistles of like the nice logos and the dust cover bag, but the stealth liners they'll just be a little bit, a little bit cheaper, a little bit more minimal. No, no dust bag, just nice clean binder. But we're getting photos of those today. Yeah, come along for the ride. This photo here is how I get the profile shot where you can just see the bottom of the binder. I'm not warping this on a flat background or I'm not taking the photo like this with the camera pointing down. Oh! I'm actually standing the, the binder up. And what's the point of doing that? Because my light source is always from the top. If I take photos like this now, my light source is 
kind of different compared to the other photos I'm gonna get. So it just kind of keeps the whole thing consistent. It's a little bit more editing for me probably. You're not gonna see the acrylic when I'm done, but I feel it just gives a nicer end result. The tricky part is then positioning the camera. If I'm looking at it right now, it looks great. But then when I position the camera, it looks different to what I'm seeing in front of me right now. So the tricky part is setting this up so that I'm kind of seeing on the camera exactly what I'm seeing in person. And that way you just get a more dynamic shot because I used to just do a front on photo of the binders. Yeah. They looked good, but they just, they look kind of flat and boring. Doing it this way, I think it just draws you in a little bit more. Yeah. It's a more interesting photo. So. I've just used my 10 year old camera, little remote trigger. I used to take photos by pressing the actual button on the camera. Don't do that. That causes vibrations, makes your images out of focus. Even if they look good from afar, you zoom in and then you cry. Easy to do with the nine pocket binder. You'll see when I take this photo, the 12 pocket. But you will see when I zoom in. See how the bottom of the binder is sagging on this side? It's just too heavy. Whereas you move across and you can actually see more underneath. Last time I did this for the regular binders, my genius. It's almost frightening. I brought a masking tape. And you could have stripped it this. I'm done the binder there. And we'll just twist the tape around and hold the binder, the front cover. Mm -hmm. Oh, can't see that in the photo. Yeah. Zip it back up, put it up the top. Focus. I kind of enjoy the creative process of working through it and then it was nice. You'll shoot a few and sometimes they just won't look quite right and then you'll get the shot and it may not look much different than the other ones but you'll just know that that's the one that we're going for. <laughs> Next step after taking those photos, I've only taken the amount of photos that I think I need because for these binders, a lot of the, the photos are gonna be very similar. For example, for the regular collector series binders, photos like that and the interior cover, I can just transfer straight across because they look exactly the same regardless of which binder it is. Essentially just taken four photos for this entire product range. Now it's just time to give them a quick clean up Make sure there's no dust that I missed when I was wiping them off before taking the photos. And then a little bit of color correction and then I'm on to the next step, which is a little bit of Photoshop wizardry. Keen eyed viewers might have noticed that I only exported four photos of red binders only. That's partly because we've got six different colors of these stealth binders, but taking seven different photos of the same thing, you've probably seen like clothing photos or shoe photos and stuff where it's just the colors that are different, but the shoe positioning, like if you look at the laces and stuff, everything creases, everything's the exact same. So it's just been color manipulated in post. So that's kind of what I've taught myself to do here. I did it first with our collector's series colored binders. I tried it with the red binder then. I pretty much took a photo of all the colors together with the current camera settings and then focused on the red binder from there on out. Just so I had like a reference point for all the colors on screen to make them look realistic. And then once I did that first time, all the colors are the same, right? So I just have to make sure the camera settings are the same and then I can go and copy it all across. So I've got to do the blue one now. So I can drag that across and voila, it's blue. If you're someone that maybe deals with Photoshop and product photos in particular, and you haven't tried this, I would suggest giving it a go because it's pretty fun when you actually get the results. That's a great cat right there. Welcome to the end of the video. So since you've all been good, let me show you off the new products we have. Now, if you stuck through Nick explaining how he photographed and edited the photos for our new Stealth Binder series, you've already seen it, but this is what the packaging looks like. Nice, sleek, minimalistic just like the philosophy of the binder itself. And they look great on a shelf together. My favorite is when the blue nine and the red nine are sitting next to each other. They really pop in the storefront. And I love this too. It looks like a premium bit of makeup. On top of that, something that people have been requesting for a very, very long time. Originally, we designed the top loader binder to prioritize durability of the pages us the matte material because that was the trade-off that we had to make. But we've listened to the community and we've finally released a clear top loader binder. This has a slightly higher capacity, a 216 slot, as opposed to the original matte binder, which had 108, if I remember correctly. Crystal clear pages, just like what everybody's wanted in some cool new groovy packaging. Anyway, thanks for sticking to the end and we hope you enjoy the new products.